pre-diabetic? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am gonna put on this thing here. Just got a free Solly Bray and we're going to put this baby on. This is my absolute first time ever doing this. I'm gonna explain to you guys a little bit more about why I wanna do it, um, other than the fact that it, it's a sponsor, it's like a gift. Back of upper arm. Center back. Okay, okay. Bam. That's the top. Oh. Oh, hell no. Oh, no, no, no. That can't be right. Because that is, that looks like it's going to hurt. That's going to stab the hell out of me. I'm scared. Mm-mm. Level. We don't talk about that because that shit is scary. That tells me that I'm pre-diabetic. Really? Okay. There goes our boy. Some weight. So I have been monitoring my glucose with the thingy that I showed you guys last night or whenever I showed it to you. I woke up this morning and my glucose level was like 120. I'm gonna show you it on screen. It was like 120 like something. And that is pre-diabetes, bitch. Crazy. I just ate a yogurt, a two good yogurt, which is two grams of sugar and a handful of blueberries and then I had two packs of Tillamook, like the cheese, the snack sizes. And then I also had, I forget what else did I have. And then I also had, oh, some cashews. So that was breakfast. I was gonna go to McDonald's and get me an egg and sausage, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna still be hungry after that and that may not be gluten free. I went and just got what I needed to get. I'm gonna down an entire liter of water while I'm in here. 
and then I'll probably get a coffee and go to the gym after. Shh, damn it, I should have brought my entire like gym bag, but I didn't. It's okay. Maybe I'll just do like regular stuff. That's it. So I think I'm gonna go lower carb from now on because I that shit means pre-diabetes, does it not? So I'm gonna I'm gonna weigh myself again. I mean I'm gonna check my glucose again tomorrow morning after fasting. Maybe I had a whole bunch of sugar that night, last night. I'm not gonna lie, I did. I need to really stop the sugar, y'all. Like I gotta stop the sugar because I I might be pre-diabetic. More sugar, or watch my sugar. No more chocolate. No more like crap. Like this is really getting to a point where my health is on the line. So that's where I'm at. Um. But I'm gonna go in here and do the big boy now is playing. So let's go. God, just got up. It's like 12:30. I needed that. I I completely needed that rest. I was so tired. Yesterday's events treat me. finish this shit that's number one I'm gonna put the rest in here so good oh my god so delish problem is I just I don't know y'all y'all I don't know mm. I'm not watching carbs and I wanna I know you're gonna think I'm doing the most not really watching carbs, but I kind of do want to keep it at like maybe 120 to 150. So that's not keto at all. The almond milk, but the PB and J, we did the one scoop. What did we do two? Having a little bit of movement. I've had gluten indirectly twice. Okay, not bad. So 464 calories. I'm craving a burger. I'm not gonna lie. I'm craving no I'm craving some french fries. You can't have french fries with your fucking burger. This just doesn't make any sense. sounds delicious my goal like I told you guys is fiber and protein if I can load up on fiber and protein I'll be a very happy girl surpass my protein goal this looks like a winner this is a winner winner chicken dinner I forgot that I was filming I'm gonna change this shirt cuz I fucking hate it I'm really losing steam and typically people just go in the gym with a sports bra and their pants but I just don't want to do that today either I'm not wearing this. Might as well just not. I don't feel like that. I'm gonna change it. Doesn't matter. I gotta go because I'm about to call your daddy and cuss his ass out. Alright. Better? Hey. So, just realized that my son, my sons, took my beats to their damn basketball game with their father today in Fort Lauderdale. So. I gotta come in here and buy some cheapies. So y'all know it's the end of the video and I really suck at telling you guys goodbye. But yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Not gonna lie though, this weekend was ideal. I put forth a lot of effort to stay on track and I really feel like I did. But of course, the scale just doesn't reflect that hard work. And I'm still hovering at 211, 214-ish. It's frustrating, but I'm not going to let it deter me from my goals. 
This weekend was all about adding extra protein and fiber to my diet, reducing carbs, and truly putting in effort to push myself in my workouts. And I did that, so I have some accomplishments that I can be proud of. But man, I'm experiencing so much body dysmorphia. My stomach, my rolls, my cellulite, seeing all of it on camera takes its toll on me. But I'm not giving up, and neither should you. Because this is all a part of our journey. We do not get to fast forward to the good parts. The ugly, the difficult, it's all what's going to be a part of our testimony to becoming the person that we were meant to be. I mean, if it seems like I am doing the absolute most to get to my goals, it is. Because that's the way we get there. We don't just turn into the people we want to because we really, really want to. We got to put in work. Some people, they can do it in six months, in three months, but for those of us, it does take a little bit longer, and that's okay, as long as we keep pushing, as long as we keep going, that's what matters. I really feel like we're getting to a point now where something's gonna stick. In order to see that transformation, we just gotta keep, keep at it. Stay strong, y'all, we got this. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. 